everyone, I'm Cole from the Kingdom, and having recently finished Assassin's Creed Valhalla, there's a truth I'm finally ready to face. And that is, the writers have absolutely no idea what they're doing. Up until now, I was giving them the benefit of the doubt and assuming they had some kind of master plan, but they don't. And I'm finally ready to admit that. I mean, for starters, the game doesn't have an ending. If they want to make one later, I'm not paying more money for it. Let's talk about Layla. For years, I was hoping for a new modern assassin, and I really hoped for a woman. I was thinking a cousin of Desmond's would have been good, but that was just my idea. When Origins came out, I was really excited to see a new modern female player character. She was kind of annoying how she ignored really good advice from her friend, but it was whatever. She didn't really have much development, so I wasn't ready to pass judgment. In Odyssey, she was insufferable. She constantly ignored really good advice again, especially from her doctor. I get she was supposed to be hot-headed, but she just came off as stupid. Especially in the Fate of Atlantis stuff, when she kept referring to the staff as talking stick. Shut up. Even if you really are that stupid as to not know what's going on, I can't imagine a normal person talking like this. I'm sure it happens, but is this really the character to use that sort of stupid dialogue with? Then she kills Victoria. What the hell? I get the staff was corrupting her, but then Althea is like, The inheritor of memory shouldn't have done that! Really? You want to pretend you didn't know this was going to happen? After picking someone like this to be the inheritor? It's kind of explained in Valhalla where she needed someone really stupid to carry the staff to Loki. You know, someone stupid enough to not tie the staff to her hand. I feel like there were a million better ways to get the staff to him. But all I can figure is that this decision was made after the writers realized Layla was insufferable. So then Layla decides to chill out with the reader, despite her quite clearly not being qualified for such an important task. But at least she's gone now and I don't have to play as her anymore. But now we play as Loki and... How did, how did you guys do this with Loki? How did you make him annoying? It's goddamn Loki! Part of the problem was his weird design, and part of the problem was his voice. It's not the voice actor's fault, it, it was just way too deep. In fact, all the mythology stuff in Valhalla was, I think, poorly handled. It was far too close to the actual Norse legends. If you want to make a mythology game, cool, go for it. But Assassin's Creed is primarily historical fiction, right? So if you... So if you do mythology stuff, it should be like where you can see the classic legends that inspired it, but it's not exactly the same, because those legends are based on things that happened thousands of years prior, and legends change, especially when they're not written down. In general, I think most people are there for historical fiction and the war between assassins and templars, and aren't particularly interested in the Isu. But there are some interesting plot threads there that Ubisoft seems to have abandoned. Like in Syndicate, the Templars were trying to clone Isu, and even considered using the Shroud to bring one back to life. And they had the blood from the Observatory in Black Flag. Revelations had Jupiter talking to Desmond, and I'd like to see more of him. We recently haven't seen much from Minerva or Juno, uh, and I honestly can't remember which is which. So, you know, follow up on these plots. Don't keep adding new ones. This is what I meant when I said the writers clearly don't have any sort of plan. Now, Origins is actually one of my favorite Assassin's Creed games. Odyssey is not. Uh, a lot of that is probably just the fact that it was Ubisoft's first RPG, and they didn't handle it especially well. One part that stands out to me is when you romance Kira, and her ex tries to kill you. I did everything conceivable to not kill him. I knocked him out. Nothing. I straight up carried his unconscious body to the party and laid it down in front of her. Nothing. Someone would wake him up and I'd have to knock him out again. The game refused to let him live. And then Kira got mad at me. I didn't want our relationship to be based on a lie, so I told her the truth, and she got all upset. The romances in Odyssey, I think, were not handled well at all. 
And then we have the fact that Cassandra is the canon character, which makes me wonder why they even gave us the option. And also, Alexius is on the box art. Apparently, this was because the marketers thought women wouldn't sell. I'm just going to assume they have brain damage and take pity on them. They did it again with Valhalla. Now, this video has been largely negative, because I wanted to address the things that they really should improve upon in the future. Gameplay is fine, but the RPG dialogue mechanics still need more refinement. If you're going to have a canon gender for the main character, don't give us the choice. Give us a new modern assassin that isn't insufferable, and also don't make them super bland. Now, I haven't played all Ubisoft games, but the ones I have played have cemented my theory that Ubisoft does not know how to write modern humans. Far Cry 3, Assassin's Creed, Watch Dogs, it's, it's, it's like they saw a movie once, but have never actually spoken to another human. So I suggest they learn how people talk for future games. Now, some people say weird things. I, I do all the time, and people make fun of me. But when designing a player character, you have to make them likable. Just one example, I, I had this problem with Jason in Far Cry 3. He was horrible, and it made me not want to play the game. And in Assassin's Creed Rogue... Guys, th th there's an issue here. Shay wasn't a bad guy. I, I remember reading an article before the game came out where a developer said something to the effect of, Our intent was never to make the Templars seem like total villains. And my response to that was, well, you, you did a bad job. You, you, didn't want them to, you didn't want them to seem like total villains, you, you failed on that. Now, the philosophies of both the Assassins and Templars are flawed, and I'd really like them to explore characters realizing this in the future. Templar philosophy leads to an oppressive dystopia. The Assassin philosophy leads to unsafe anarchy. Both need to be put in check, and they need to meet in the middle. Suleiman, in Revelations, understood this. But Assassin's Creed Rogue... I've seen this before. You want to tell a story from the perspective of the bad guys, but they figured they couldn't make the good guys seem evil, because then people wouldn't want to play as them in the future. So their solution was to make all the good guys stupid. Being misled is one thing, but they were just stupid. And they made us kill Adewale, and there's no excuse for that. Okay, I, I've been ranting about this for a while. Let's talk about the good things. I like historical fiction, and I hope they get back to their roots with that in the future. I like that they're trying dialogue options, as that's something I feel would have made the previous games better. Stealth has weirdly taken a back seat in recent games, and I hope they get back to that. I really liked Syndicate. It might actually be one of my favorites. And I thought they handled stealth mostly well. Origins was also good in that regard. The mechanics of Brotherhood and Revelations, where you recruit assassins and build them up and send them on missions, was so great, and I can't understand why they got rid of that. I mean, that's what AC3 should have been about, rebuilding the Colonial Brotherhood. I mean, what AC3 should have done is worth a whole other video. Uh, but, but for me, one of the things I like the most about Assassin's Creed is seeing the culture of these older societies. Origins and Odyssey did do that fairly well, I think. Uh, obviously, AC2 did a great job. Again, I liked Syndicate. Unity's French Revolution setting was largely wasted. Uh, Black Flag was pretty good. I like exploring in these games, but I don't like when there's too much. I don't like when the map is covered with icons. In the future, I think one good time period to visit would be the American Wild West. Like Red Dead Redemption, except less boring. I am gonna get some hate for that. Uh, but playing as a bounty hunter, lawman, or outlaw are all good, trying to keep the Templars from gaining too much control in the region. You could maybe play as one of Connor's descendants, or at least meet them. I think the region is a good fit for Ubisoft's current style. Since they did Ancient Egypt well, I'm confident they could do the American West well too. Another possible period would be World War II France or Germany. The Templars would be awesome. I think the game The Saboteur did this in Paris, but I only played like two hours of it, and I heard reviews weren't great. Maybe Assassin's Creed could handle it better. 
Maybe you could have a cameo from George Orwell and say 1984 is his vision of a world where the Templars win. And then obviously feudal Japan, which people have been clamoring for for years. Uh, China's also got some good stuff. Uh, I'd personally stay away from the Three Kingdoms period, since I think that's a little oversaturated at the moment. And then South America would be really cool as well. Maybe fighting Templar Spanish conquistadors? That sounds fun. It could involve El Dorado, which would be an intact precursor city that the assassins keep covered up. There's a lot of potential there. Also, I don't think many people feel the same way I do, but I want to see the Roaring Twenties in New York or Chicago. I could go on for a while talking like this, and I'm honestly pretty tired, so here's where I'll wrap things up. I realize most of what I said was negative, but again, this is, this is all stuff I want to see improved upon in the future. It, it's not meant to be insulting, and I'm sorry if anyone's feelings were hurt. I've been holding a lot of this in because I haven't had a good way to share it, so that may be why it feels a little mean. Uh, but I assure you, this is just because I love Assassin's Creed and I, I want to see it do better. So stick your comments down below, I look forward to what you have to say, and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. So that's it for now guys, thank you all so much for watching, I'll see you later.